Hello everyone and welcome to another Fallout 76 build video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to build this. This is my new trading post. I sell a lot of bulk items and plans in the game and I thought it might be fun to build an actual location where I can meet people and trade with them. So I will give you a quick tour. So I'm on the road. I, I, I put it on the uh, on the edge of a road so it's a little bit easier for people to find because this is a camp I actually want people to find and I am just actually right next to the overseers camp um, you know you could put it anywhere but this is the <laughs> the first flat place I found anyway now a lot of the items that are in this build at least in the decorating portion of it are from plants that are very hard to find for instance the neon lights and the small letters and are also very expensive I think these like the small letters I think it's like 10,000 caps um, I didn't find these plans myself somebody gave them to me because they are actually really rare and the little blinky lights here those are from the Adams shop so there are some things that are going to be you know impossible for some of you to add to this but the general concept of this build, you know, the building itself is pretty simple to make and you can make it with any of the of the build sets. I built mine with the barn because it had the smoothest walls for placing the, the letters onto. So the idea for this is that if I'm not here, which, you know, I probably won't be here if somebody came, came along, I have a menu up here of what I have for sale and the prices that they are for sale at four. And so you can see I sell bulk components, 20 caps each. I have currently available acid, adhesive, aluminum, concrete, fertilizer, gears, lead, plastic, springs, and steel. And I have loose components, screws for one cap each, and ballistic fiber for five caps each, because you can't bulk those items. And then I also sell plans, 80 caps each. And I also have a message here that if you want to get a hold of me, you can message me if you want to buy something. So that's how people can, you know, trade. And I have some, um, these are stash boxes, so people can access their stash if they have things that they want to trade with me. And how I get inside is back here. I have my little house area now since these half walls are actually the height of your head I had to build uh, a bed to stand on in the back or else you know you yeah wouldn't be able to look out the window so in here I just made it look like sort of like a little shop I mean like I like I'm storing the stuff I'm selling inside here you sure surely don't have to do this um, it's just aesthetic purposes only. Uh, there's a dead dog in here because my door was locked. He spawned inside my house. This is very annoying. That happened to me in another location as well. But anyway, and in here we have the workshop. So I got all of the workbenches in here so that, um, you know, if I need to make more bulks or, or whatever. And uh, I got a few um, wind chimes here. I think they make a nice little sound. And just some decorations. I've got on this side I have, um, where it says trading post again for people coming down the road from this direction. And because it's hard to see the that sign from that direction. So anyways, you guys, I really like how this turned out now. <laughs> This did use up absolutely all of my build budget. I can only build one more item. Well, depending on what it is, but because, and it's because of these letters. Now, you of course don't have to do this. You don't have to put the letters up. It does help for people to know what you're selling, but if you have like a ton of stuff that you're selling, all kinds of different things, like weapons and armor and chems and you know, whatever, it's, it's pretty time-consuming to put them up there, so 
I wouldn't recommend doing it unless you had like one or two types of items that you sell. And of course, obviously, if, if, if you don't have the letters, then you can't do it. But um, even if I didn't have the letters, I would still build this and use it as a place to meet people um, to, to trade. Like on my Discord, we have a place, we have a thread called um, The Trading Post. And you can post ads for the things that you have for sale in the game, and then you set up a time to meet with the people in the game. And, you know, we meet in different places wherever we happen to be, but I thought it would be fun to actually have a place where I can meet people to, to do the trades. So, anyway, all right, that's it for the tour, and now I'm going to show you how to build it. All right, so we're going to start off with, you know, floor pieces. <laughs> Now, I'm going to set them into the ground just a tiny bit, like, um, you know, where the mesh stops. I'm going to have that be just partially in the ground. Now, I want to make sure that this is going to be lined up just right with the road. I think this is probably where I'd like to have it. You can measure by um, putting in all the pieces that you want. It's going to have um, let me see. Yeah, it's gonna have there. These are the pieces it's going to have. It's going to be three. Um so three in a row, twice, and then two. That makes sense. Three by three by two. So, but they're not all going to be the same level. So, this is just to, you know, get the the feel for um, the positioning. Make sure that it's the way you'd like it to be, and it's easier to do that if all pieces are um, showing. Hey. You don't, don't you dare. Come over here, ruin my video. <sighs> Nasty little things. I probably won't keep my shop here because this is, um, <laughs> there's a spawn point, like literally right here. So that's going to be annoying for me. But for the key, for the purpose of this video, I'm just going to do this. So, okay. I think I would like to rotate this one slightly this way so that it lines up better with the road. Okay, and then we're going to put the two back here and then I'm going to get this one and you're going to want to line it up at the corner of this one so that it's not quite um, not quite as like you I think maybe line up the bottom corner of this one with the bottom of this board here so right where my cursors see that you line those two up just like that I think that is just high enough and you want to make sure it's lined up and facing the exact same direction as um, as the other ones it takes a little bit of trial and error to get it just right, but Oops. you want to get it as close as you possibly can. I don't know if there's an easier way to do this. If there is, <clears throat> do let me know, but this is the way I've figured out how to do it and so far I haven't figured out a better way so yeah it's I almost have it I think I just need to get it a little bit more yeah. overcompensation there <laughs> all right so it's slightly overlapping and you do not want that to happen because if it does um, 
it won't be able to place the others. See, it's still slightly overlapping, so let's move it out a little bit more. Oh, seriously. Do you guys, does that ever happen to you guys? You get it exactly where you want it, and when you place it, it pops back into its original position. That happens to me all the time. It does it when I'm fine tuning only, usually. Now that's a little bit farther from the corner than I'd like it to be, but I think it's going to work. We'll find out. <laughs> we will find out. Make sure all of the boards are facing the right direction and just pop in two more of those. Yeah, like that. Okay, now come over here and check this side. You want to check and make sure everything's lining up pretty good before you do anything else. See, it's not perfect, but it doesn't have to be perfect in order to work. It has to just be mostly perfect. Now, now you're going to snap one back here and then snap this one to the other one so that see it's lower. Like that. I think that is actually going to be perfect. And now, this one, it's going to go back here. And put down one more back here as well. Well, actually, don't put those yet, sorry. <clears throat> we will be putting them there eventually, we just can't put them there yet. You have to do things in a certain order or it won't work. Okay, there, I think that is good. It's a little higher than I would like it to be. I think I might lower the back, but you get the idea. I'm not going to lower the back just now, but there you go. Um, I think the height is good. You might want to um, adjust the height you know, to your own liking later. <laughs> anyway, then we're going to get the half-sized walls and the ha half-sized walls are going to go right here. They will snap on because normally if you have two um, foundations next to each other, the wall won't snap in. But since they're not actually touching each other, it will. So there's a tiny gap. But I think it isn't really noticeable, especially if you're facing this direction, and this is the direction you will be facing, so... Now, test the height by going into third person and putting your character up to it. And if you like the height, this is going to be the window, okay? I accidentally put two double... Uh, two... Two walls... Um, half walls... That is not supposed to be a half wall. This is supposed to be a full-sized wall. I'm all half wall happy here. Okay. Come on. Turn. Oh, oh get stuck on that one. Just turn around. There. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so that's going to be the window. Double check the height. It's I think it's just good. I think it's I think it's fine, yeah. You can have it higher or lower to your own preferences, right? Okay. Now, we're going to put walls here. Actually, let's put some stairs here so I don't have to keep jumping up and down. Oh, no, wait. Before. <laughs> order! Order. There's an order to the things. Don't put stairs there yet. The wall there. And then you can put uh, windowed walls if you want to. I put a windowed wall here in the corners. Just because I, I do like to have windows. So I'm going to put a window in the corner. I'm not putting a window on this one because I put a sign on the other side of that. Now, if you are planning on using the small letters on the wood, like I did, you'll want to use the barn pieces because they're the smoothest of all of the pieces. Um, the metal and the, and the warehouse and the, the wood pieces are have ir really irregular um, front uh, faces on them. So... It might be more difficult to to use those if you're if you're putting the small pieces the small letters on. Okay, <clears throat> now how we do the front overhang is here. Let me put these up first. Door. Then we need to put the floor down. This is the back porch. Uh, no, come on. It's, it defaulted to the Adam store ones again. 
That really annoys me. There. Now we're going to put a stair going... Oops. Come on. Up. And you can put it on either side. It doesn't really matter. I just put it right here. And then... Um, whoops. Floors. There we go. So then we're going to put this on the stair. And sometimes it won't snap, so you have to take the wall off. And then you can snap it up there. And sometimes it does snap with the wall there. But if it doesn't snap and you got a wall, that's why. <laughs> uh, door. There. And the next one. And then... You're going to want to put um, some over here, but these are temporary. And then get the half-sized ones and snap it on so that it's just like half on, half off the wall there. Of course, I'm going to get bad weather. I always get bad weather when I'm building. Put one there and one there. And one there. Come on. The workshop budget has been exceeded. Isn't it using my stored ones? Come on! I had all of these things stored. There. Okay. So, I don't know why it wasn't, uh, yeah. Using my stored ones. Anywho. Okay, so... There, then, after that, we are going to put the posts in. And the posts snap to the middle of these things. So you can just, that's how I'm getting them onto the corners. Instead of, normally, it would snap onto the, about right there. And I don't like it like that. People don't build that way. You put posts on corners, really. <laughs> now to get the next one in it won't go in right here because it'll it'll snap to the middle of this if it's on the corner of a foundation so in order to get it onto the corner of this foundation you have to take this one off temporarily and then it'll just snap right in and then you can put the uh, foundation back in like so and now we can put stairs on. Now, I prefer these stairs because I just think they look better, but they won't fit here with the posts on. They won't snap on, but this one will. There we go. Okay, now you can take these off. What are you doing? There. Okay. Oh, I'm getting some dark, stormy weather, aren't I? And, because we don't want to waste, I'm going to move these ones over here, since I don't actually need them. Put it right there. No? Oh. The order of things matters. I always forget that to do things in the correct order. Yeah, I always forget. Okay, so now we have the porch, everybody. The covered porch. And now, we're going to finish the inside here. We need to put in this wall, which I actually prefer it facing the other way, so it looks like the inside of my house. It's going to, in, yeah. Which item is it intersecting with? Is it this one? It's probably the ceiling. Oh, that's weird. I didn't do that last time. I... There it goes. Okay. It lied. No, it's backwards. I put it in this way. There. See, it's not actually intersecting with another object. Game. Work this time. <laughs> oh, dear. Okay. Now, I'm going to 
come up here. Oh, I forgot. I put these back too soon. First, we have to put um, the half walls, these ones, up here. And now we can put those back up. Um, yeah, where are they? Ah. Uh, I think they put the uh, the Adam Shop versions on top to to keep enticing you to buy, right? There. Now the roof, and we want this um, corner roof piece that's sort of beveled looking. I'm going to put it here. It's easier if you actually go up there. Okay, we're going to put one facing this way, one here, and one here, like so. And while we're up here, I'm going to uh, put in this thing. Oh, no, wait. <laughs> I don't need to do that on this side. I need to do it on this side. And then we put these ones up here like this. I know I don't really need to do that because there's this floor up there, but I think it looks better on the, from the outside if it has a actual slanted roof there instead of just the false front sticking out I just think I just thought it looked better, but you know, you guys can do whatever you want, of course. And anyways, that is that is it basically. You know, apart from the decorations. Oh, is that where that mole rat was? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh, actually, I actually put railings here, um, just because. I think it finishes it off better. And you can put a stair back here if you want to. I just didn't have enough build budget left to do it myself. Now for the generator, um, keep in mind the generators blow lots of black smoke. So if you don't want, I originally put my generator inside the building to keep it safe. A little bit it does since things can just spawn inside your house apparently. But I had it right here and it kept blowing smoke out through the wall right in front of my store and it looked horrible so I put it back here so to wire up this building all you have to do is put one conduit right here and another one right here oops wire it together and that will power the entire thing all the way to the front and all the way around to the side and that is basically it everybody the the basic um the basic plan and then you can decorate it to your heart's content in any which way you'd like yeah oh you know what i did forget to put doors on not that you guys don't know how to do doors on your own, but I'm just, you know. Huh. So this door works best if it faces this way. This door uh, works best if it's facing that way as well. So um, this one opens inside. That way it doesn't cover up your ability to reach your window. Um, and it's easy to walk around when you come inside there. And this one opens up to the outside. So again, once you have the furniture in here, if it opened up to the inside, it would be very difficult to move around. So anyway. And that's going to do it, everyone, for this build. Let me know down in the comments what you think about this. I would really like to know. And let me know if you build this and use it in the, in the extent that I'm using it as. I would really like to know how that works out for you. And 
And again, you know, go to my Discord server where I have the trading post thread where you can meet up with other people to trade in the game with and you can use the trading post to meet them. And also check out everything else while you're there because there's a lot of fun conversations going on over there. And also you can follow me on social media by following the links in the description where you'll also find my Patreon and coffee pages down there if you'd like to support my channel. Anyway, you guys, uh, that is it for today. I will see you in the next video. And remember, until then, play safe, play nice, and have fun. Bye, guys.